Have you heard all the, or have you heard the rumors that uh, Giovanni is Red slash Ash's father? Yeah. Yeah. And then there are the ones where... The... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, the other prominent one is that his dad fought in the same war as Lieutenant Surge. Yeah. And just never came back. But what were you going to say? Uh, or the one where Gary's actually the good guy... But, like, you kill one of his Pokemon, which is why after you get out of Lavender Tower, he doesn't have his Raticate anymore. Yeah, you killed him on the SS Saint Anne, right? Yeah, the SS Anne. I read a comic once where it was uh, somebody interviewing Red right after he became Pokemon Champion, and they're like, would you say that it was your love for your Pokemon that carried you through? And it's like, well, no. I I would say, first of all, just not having one type of Pokemon. And second, like, just not being dumb. <laughs> yeah. So you wouldn't say that love had anything to do with it? You can't get these things to hate you. Well... It, depending, if you're listening to uh, I Choose You to Die. Welcome to the wonderful world of fanfiction. No, 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 that was, uh, that was a Starbomb song. Oh, right, I actually haven't listened to their whole album. Yeah, I, I'm still waiting for my pre-order to show up. Isn't that, like, signed by yep. uh, so, Danny and Aaron? Signed by Danny, Aaron, and Brian. I'm glad that they had, a They had B.O.B. screw up on them, and they're like, oh, we're gonna just do a grump cast, probably never gonna do one of these again. Yeah. And then, like, less than a week later, they had another one up. Yeah. Well, let's be... I think it was because, like, everybody was like, dude... You know how cool a Game Grumps podcast would be? So they're like, fuck it, if they want it, let's do it. Because they actually, like, pay attention We're to We're stuck this in thing. Chicago. Yeah. Which is, that I'm, as I'm to understand, it's a terrible place to be stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, no. Uh, you has started missing habitually again. I can see a trip to the Pokemon Center as forthcoming. The pulse pounding, fast paced action of the Pokemon Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. I should probably get. To Watch the... in awe. <laughs> Watch in awe as they take advantage of the healthcare system. Yeah! <laughs> Universal healthcare, Obama. This is how it works. I forget who made it, but there was a video where they were talking to people about implementing universal healthcare and slowly started turning it into talking about Pokemon Centers and seeing how long it took for people to notice. Yeah. You can't jam out if you're a Poke- What? Okay. Um, oh, what I was- what The point I was getting to with the story- The long-winded story I was telling earlier. Um, but yeah, I was- I was working with this guy on doing the sound assets for Pokemon Creepy Black, because I- had already learned how to extract the sounds from the game, like isolating channels and getting the specific sounds that I needed for certain parts, and learning how to do animation, like animated GIFs and stuff, because I was actually working on the game myself, and I almost had the entirety of Pallet Town like, mapped out, like the individual rooms and stuff like that. I was just having so much trouble figuring out how to incorporate dialogue because I was using Game Maker and it doesn't have like a dialogue engine to it. And then I realized, I'm like, why am I so worried about dialogue? It's not like there's custom dialogue, so I can just make it so that it shows up as an animation. Like, I, re I realized that recently, but I don't think I'm going to be revisiting the project anytime soon. Even though I think I'd be the only one to be doing it. Hey, let's see how Bubble does. Let's try that. Uh, you use bubble. 
say it can either come off as really confused or like really bitchy. <laughs> uh, you have bubble. <laughs> Oh my god, fucking, I'm trying to do a text message, okay? I'm posting on Tumblr right now, just do whatever. Bubble, fine. I just had my hair straightened six hours ago. Gonna get all frizzy again. Ugh, why don't you fucking use tackle? Jesus Christ, it's so humid now. <laughs> And that concludes our production of Pissy White Girls, the musical. <laughs> Why she gotta be white, Mike? Why she gotta be white? The sequel, Bitchy Panracial Girls. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot tell you where I'm... Oh, fuck, I'm poisoned. God damn it. I can't... That just made that whole thing fall apart. Just my disgust at being poisoned. Uh, mm -mm. You did not just poison me, girlfriend. You did not just poison the bitch. I'm just gonna have to go over that and slap your Pokemon right on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't know how one could audially give the snap, but it I did my best. It, it worked. Okay, I got a poison heal now. Oh, shit! It goes back to the semi-original palette, if you press that button. Jarring. What happens when you press that button? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, I, I, there's all these extra buttons on the, uh, on the Super Nintendo controller that obviously weren't on the Game Boy. So, so come to think of it, you know how there's a portable uh, Super Nintendo system? Yes. I wonder how meta it would be to put a Super Game Boy into the... What? How? How? I think... Hold on. You'll see in a second. How is this the first wild Pokemon? Mother of God. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't... Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, mother of God. We better potion up first before we attempt to catch this thing. Because it... Say it... don't... Oh, no. <laughs> I know! Okay. You're, you're where I was. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I gotta, I gotta I try... I gotta try and catch it now. Come on, come on. I'm holding the A button like I that. I believe in Santa Christ! Damn it, it got out! No, I really have no way of fucking, like, attacking this thing again. I'm just going to have to keep throwing Pokeballs no, at it. I just got to keep throwing Pokeballs at it. Come on. The fundamental flaws of the first... Yeah! I got a Pikachu. So can, first... Can you hit down B? <laughs> that doesn't actually work. It's all faith. No, but... It it's it's cathartic and makes you feel better. At I just least. I just me. don't yeah, release. Just me. I just my thing was always just don't release a until it's caught. Okay, what are we what are we nicknaming this thing? Because we're definitely nicknaming this goddamn thing. <clears throat> Triumph, <laughs> victory. What do you got? Oh. The shocker. <laughs> okay. Let's I'm sure I'm the first person to make that joke ever. I don't think there's enough room for the shocker, so let's just go. With... Actually, you know what? Let's 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 take this all the way and see if there's enough room for this. Because if there is, then my life will have been worth it. <laughs> the shocker. Yes. Hold on. Mail symbol. <laughs> nah, it's too much. Okay, so we've got... Are we going to train Dashaka, or are we just going to let him sit there? Are we going to split experience? Uh, I might say split experience. I mean, he'd be useful at least when you get to Misty. 
Okay. Uh, well, actually, then we're gonna go to a Pokemon, the Pokemon Center, quick, and heal up the Shaka, cause uh, he is low on health, and we do want to train him. How in the fuck? You know, usually I've been getting a pretty bad bead when it comes to games I play while I live stream, but that is a fucking. That was a mess. Like, how the fuck did that happen? Arceus smiled upon you. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, someone out there. Asian rat. What the fuck? <laughs> the viewer. I think the viewer wanted the nickname Deshaka Asian rat. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and I should probably also clarify that he's still in school, so you can't take your animals to him. <laughs> just, I don't want people to start, like, well, finding... you can. <laughs> but he just, it's like... just not gonna be the best idea. He just look at you and be like, why are you care Why are you holding that creature? <laughs> okay, we are, we are set to train Dashaka. I'm actually really excited about this. This the really this is the only Pokemon we honest well, uh, we can catch Rattata later. I'm not really too worried about that. I, I uh I generally require a Rattata in my party to be happy. Ooh. Excuse me. Well as long as he's in the top percentage of all Rattatas. I I don't I don't actually know that tactic that people use. Um. Um. It's like you use endure, so that he um can take basically any hit and still have one HP left. Then you use something that do we want to catch your opponent down to? Do we want to catch a Weedle, or do we just want to keep going? Um. I mean, if we're already going to be training a Pikachu, all right. Fuck this. Playing experience three ways might take a while. Oh well, no, we would. Uh, but you use some. No, if you want him, go for it. Nah, fuck this Weedle. But, uh, Fucking yeah. Beedrill sucks. You use a move that brings the other one down to your HP, so it brings it down to one, then you just use Quick Attack, and regardless of how strong the other Pokemon is, it'll at least do one damage, and they will die. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I never actually knew about that until. Obviously, very late in my Pokemon career, if you want to call it that. All right. Back when I was a trainer. Back when I was, yeah, back when I was like 13, I think. No homo, but I found a camp, Pokeball. Kids were amazed that I actually... Kids were amazed I actually knew about, about Pokemon. Yeah. I was your age when it came out. They don't. They don't really have a concept of that, though. Kids, they don't realize that like there were things that were around when you were a kid that are still out now. Oh my God! There's a Metapod, probably the most annoying fucking encounter you get in this game. Well, I mean, if you're trying to train someone up, it's not bad because he's a second. He's a second form. He gives a lot more experience. Yeah. And he doesn't fight back. So yeah, he's basically just a punching bag if you want to train fast. It's just like, I wonder what movie he's going to use. Oh, Harden. Okay. Well, at least he's not the only one. Or at least I'm not the only one. That joke fell flat. <laughs> well, don't you remember that... Don't you remember that... Uh, Metapod versus Metapod battle in the anime? Yeah. It went exactly as excitingly as you think it would. Yeah. And nobody had the sense to be like, uh, guys, listen, um, you're not doing anything. Yay! Regardless of which one of you can harden better. <laughs> uh, okay, very important question. Are we evolving Squirtle? Yes. Okay. I I'm just reminded of, uh... We're not gonna do a game... Yeah. Dude, John I was... I can do Game Grumps and keep him. John was so excited. Keep... I kept him Torchic! <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been watching through every single episode of Game Grumps from the very beginning, so I've been watching a lot of Jantran uh, in the, the early episodes, so... 
that's going to influence me no, a little that's bit. Cool. I mean, if I'm on, if I'm on like Minecraft or Civ or Sims or any game that I can kind of have something in the background with, I'll usually have Game Grumps playing. Yeah. Game Grumps, Spoonie, or Nostalgia Critic. Yeah. Have you seen uh, the finale to the Final Fantasy Thirteen review? No. I'm going to have to watch that. Oh, there's, there's a thing. I'll probably end up just watching them all again just to get more context because that's just what I do with Spoonie. I watch through an entire like entire clip of his series because like one's like his Ultima series. I, I know I've said this a million times on like the podcast and I'll probably say it a million more times in more podcasts and in this, but I love the Ultima reviews because that was a game I grew up with. I tried playing Ultima 6. Um, okay. I actually tried doing a uh, Let's Play of it, but it was just too dialogue heavy. And uh, since I was playing the SNES version, there oh. was, of course, you know, not speaking dialogue, so I had to try to make funny voices for everyone. And Not only that, I but that game just got really boring. That game has a terrible inventory bug, too. If you want to keep stuff, don't put it on the main, uh, don't put it on the avatar, because it will disappear. And I still Yeah, I got the feeling that I was playing the vastly inferior version. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the Super Nintendo version is fucking bullshit. Though it was it it was better in some ways because your screen wasn't so much smaller than it should have been, but then it was like buggy as all fuck. So Have you watched uh the Britannia Burns? series where he's interviewing Lord British. No. No, that's something I actually forgot well, to watch. I forgot it existed. Well, because they're make, he's making a Shroud of the Avatar, I guess part of the Kickstarter was uh, he would do an interview with Spoonie if they got X amount of money. That's pretty cool, though. And they did. Oh, Jesus. So apparently, apparently Lord British is a Spoonie fan. Yeah. Gee, I just get poisoned every every opportunity. Welcome to Viridian Forest. Yeah. And that's why I bought, bought a fuck ton of uh, antidotes. Because I know that they're going to be necessary. But, like, this kid comes up to me. He's, like, all fucking froggy and ready to fight. And all he's got's a Weedle. That he kept a Weedle. Like, I know they evolve long before level 9. Though you really got to appreciate this custom color palette that the Super Game Boy gives it. Because I think, yeah, there's the color palette you're generally stuck with. But there's the custom color palette with the uh, the Super Game Boy, which looks really nice. Yeah! And that concludes how to get a Pikachu to level 5. <laughs> I wonder what that's coming up next. How did? Go ahead. I wonder what that's implying when it's like no homo defeated the bug catcher. Does that make a noise when I do that? Yeah, it does. When you do what now? Change the palette. It makes a noise, and it also causes seizures. So, uh, be ready for that. Yeah, I can't actually hear what's going on in the live stream because I have uh, to mute it. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. I hear an echo of Tim and my voice. Yeah. Shit, I forgot I was poisoned. I don't think it's going to be a very big deal for this battle, though. Uh, Brock's, Brock's Pokemon are at level 11, right? Yes. Okay. I think the Onyx might be a level 13. Uh, we may need to We may need to grind a little bit, so... We're gonna have to come up with another story or something. Our oh, Squirtle's level level ten, right? No, level eleven. Um, yeah, maybe get another level or two to be safe, but he does have. 
type advantage, so yeah, that'll make up some of it. I keep thinking we're playing Super Metroid, so I hit the the or not Super Metroid, uh, Final Fantasy. So I hit the X button for the inventory, and it doesn't work. All right. Time to leave. Dun, dun. Um, that's interesting. That this is also interesting. <laughs> Man, just everybody has such interesting things to say in Kanto. It's just so wonderful. Let's see if we can catch anything in this little bushel. Tim's channeling his inner Jewish mother. <laughs> Why don't you ever oh fuck Pidgey? I don't want a goddamn Pidgey. Your cousin already caught a Dragon Knight. <laughs> Which reminds me, there's a $500 Magic Carp coming up that we might want to purchase. I honestly think that's my favorite part of the game: is that it makes fun of you. <laughs> it, the game makes fun of you for buying the $500 Magikarp. Hey, but you get him sharing the experience early on. Get that Gyarados. I know. Who's laughing then? Exactly. That's why I always do it, too. Actually, let's let's wait until Squirtle... Or, sorry. Uh, you! Starts to weaken a little bit, and then we'll... Uh-oh! Guess what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta, gonna do? I gotta wait for you, wait for it to catch up for you to realize what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna what? <laughs> oh, you're gonna catch Rattata. I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna catch a Rattata. If he doesn't knock me out before I catch him, because he's a level five, so he's a little. Oh shit! <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna fuck. Oh god! This Rattata is gonna fuck me up. Come on. Shit. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I gotta catch him. I gotta catch him now, or he's gonna knock my ass out. Come on. Come on. Holding down that A button. Yeah! I caught a Rattata, and the added bonus of... Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, so everybody gets to enjoy that. Okay, what are we nicknaming Rattata? Um... He kind of resembles Rose, if you ask me. Resembles what? Rose. Sure, name him Rose. <laughs> That's a terrible fucking joke, but I'm going with it anyway. Here we go. Hey, it's just like Rose. Met, met early on and ultimately useless. <laughs> hey! Raditz is like my favorite companion. Oh, I came here with this big fuck-off gun that can blow up Daleks, and I immediately mm. forget about it when I first see the doctor. <laughs> Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. I don't care. Alright, let's... We're not really gonna worry about leveling up Rose quite yet. People are going to be pissed about that joke. Just so you know, the only reason why I said that was because the first thing you notice about Billy Piper generally is her teeth. Like, she has a she has a really nice toothy grin, and the first thing I notice about Radita is his is his like teeth. So that was where that came from. We are not saying that, <laughs> you know, Billy Piper is a rat. No. By no means are we saying Billy Piper is a rat. She's actually quite attractive. She's she's a lovely woman. <sighs> Doesn't anybody say anything? And actually? she immediately she immediately followed Doctor Who by doing a series where she played a hooker. <laughs> well, what else is she gonna do? I mean, you're on a you're on a children's program, then hooker. It's the natural progression. It's the circle of life, basically. 
Uh, okay, so next... Oh, that's right, we're going to level up a bit before we approach this gym. And there's one great thing about this Pokemart here. Is that it actually sells fucking potions. We only need a couple of these, though, for right now. Because we don't want to use all of our money. Plus, we sh oh, we can't afford an escape rope. So, we're going to wait on that. Do, do, do. All right, should we uh, should we level up over at the trainers to the right, or try to catch another Pokemans? Because I'm pretty sure I'm set with the Rattata, so I don't really need to catch anything else for a little while. But uh, what are your thoughts? Um, might try to catch a Pidgey. Really? Or a Flying type. I just knocked out a Pidgey. Why didn't you say that sooner? Because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Shame on you, Mike. Shame on you. I wish we were still in the area where there were Spearows. Because I like Spearows better than Pidgeys. And honestly, we get a flying type like for free later. Well, not really for free. It's a trade. Uh, you get the Farfetch'd. Yeah, I mean, we can just use that. I All was right. thinking, like, we're going to need a flying type eventually. Yeah. I, I've never actually used a Farfetch'd. Maybe we should try it. Or do you have a, an affinity for Pidgeys? Not particularly, no. Alright. But what do you have to... Don't you have to trade, like, an Abra for the Farfetch'd, though? Something like that. Fucking um, stuff. seriously hard to catch Pokemon is the one you gotta trade for the fucking Farfetch. You know what? Fuck it. The Pidgey's pretty much a sure thing. Let's just catch one now while we're here. Now we're getting all Raditas. Awesome. You blew it, Mike. You blew it. In the hunt for a Pidgey, I am losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> the Rapata is the majestic beast of the pilot town through Viridium. Are you fucking He's... Jacques Cousteau? <laughs> I was gonna wait till we were in the water, but eh, fuck it. The Vatel. Are we even gonna make it to the water in this? Like yeah, we're probably gonna have. I more, doubt it. We're probably gonna have more episodes of this though, like more more nights of doing this because this is actually fun. I like this. Are you having fun, Mike? Yes, I am. Are you having fun, Andy? You're I the. Can do this. Wait, what? To say it's either Jacques Cousteau or Steve Irwin. <laughs> I don't think St Steve Irwin's French though. Shit, I don't know if one well, more. I'm saying those were the two animal guys that I could have done. Yeah. Take a look at that rat to there. It said it's natural habitat. Now I may look harmless. I'm a little scared to hit this he thing. He may look harmless, and he basically is. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the the equal level ratata out to hit this thing a couple times so I can catch it. Oh God. I usually, when I'm playing uh, the Pokemon games, I go for uh, themed names. Right. Um, like, at one point, I had them named all the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> so I had Jason, Billy, Kimberly, um, Trini, and Zack. No Tommy? And uh, Tommy. Okay. Yeah, I, I had Tommy. Say. He was the last one I got. I was going to say. Fucking... He may not have been one of the original five, but he was always my favorite. As the Green Ranger... When they stuck him back in as the White Ranger, I was incredibly excited to see him back, but it was a bittersweet victory. Okay, so what are we nicknaming this pitch? It basically now? turned into the... 
We we can we can talk more about Power Rangers after we name this Pidgey. Um. <laughs> Andy, can you come up with a name before Mike does? <laughs> See, I'm thinking something like Southwest, <laughs> like name after an airline. Southwest? Okay. <laughs> but Southwest is... Andy says flying what? Flying Andy rat. Andy says flying rat, but... <laughs> um... Andy has a theme, too. Yeah! Rats. Uh, name your squirtle water rat. <laughs> so... You actually made the suggestion before Flying Rat showed up. You said Southwest, but I don't want to get hit with a YouTube copyright claim, so we're going to go with Northeast. Because Southwest is a trademark on, you know, directions. Yes, actually. And we can't go by Northwest because, you know, Kanye and his that kid, so. Then we're both supporting Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, and I refuse to do either of those things. <laughs> Northwest. Yeah, that's that's what I said. That was that was the joke. And he's like that it's not that kid, it was this his son's name. I I know. <laughs> I was using ambiguity for a joke. <laughs> oh, it takes time to type. No, okay. Of I do recognize that Kanye West wakes, wakes from his Kanye rest and puts on his Kanye vest to do his Kanye best. Oh my god. To be better than the Kanye rest. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if I can handle that. Okay, now that we caught the Pidgey, uh, move on to the trainers or keep slogging around here for experience? Uh, go on to the trainers. Yeah, okay. At well, least like the first two. Yeah. Well, actually, I mean, if you can go through the first trainer in uh, Brock's gym and see if what kind of experience he gives you. Eh, that's true. I could do that. Let me let me fight this uh, Ratata. I got a Ratata up here. Oh, uh, the first hour is over, so we're probably gonna we're gonna cut off the if the first episode here. Uh, so we will we will see you all next time, and. Uh, Mike, you got anything to say to our lovely audience that's currently of one? No, nope, we'll, not particularly. Will hopefully be later many whenever I re-upload this video. Uh, nope. Oh, okay, well. Well, uh, goodbye, everybody, and we're just going to leave that Rattata lying on the ground, because fuck it, that's why. Bye.